Looks like it's finally time to build the test bench. Everything except for a graphics card because where's all the stock? Welcome to Simple Run. Now in this episode, I'm going to be going through putting together the test bench. Before I get started on that though, I kind of want to run through what the goals are with this test bench. So for starters, this will be my first go at overclocking. Now I'm not overclocking for performance as much as I'm overclocking for heat. Now the main goal is, one, I'm going to get the Noctua going. And I'm going to really see how much this allows overclocking. And then from there, I'm going to compare that to an AIO once I get the i5 stable. Then I'll go through and start comparing it. So I'm not going to change the overclock once I get it to where it's producing the heat that I want. And then from there, I'll be testing radiator thicknesses, uh, fans, probably fan type, stuff like that. One thing you don't see on this table is a graphics card. And that is because I'm looking for a 3080 Founders Edition. It's impossible. It is pretty difficult. I'm checking throughout the day, every day, and I've yet to find one in stock. Granted, I started super late looking because I really didn't think I was going to make the switch because I'm currently using a 2080 Ti. Now the 2080 Ti will eventually work its way out of Wayne Tower and into the test bench. And I'll switch it from liquid cooling back to air. And you know, as this progresses, maybe I'll get to where I'll start comparing graphics cards or comparing overclocking. But the first main goal is just going to be producing heat and managing that heat. Now components wise, what you'll see on this table is that I did go Intel. Now, I went with Intel for two reasons. One reason you can actually buy it. Trying to find a 5600X or 5900X is it's a rarity. Getting an i5 10600K, you can do it all day, every day. Seem to be stocked no matter what, which is really nice. And it's a good price point. Now the second reason is heat. Intel, being on the 14 nanometer, is much hotter, and I'm hoping to get plenty of heat out of this. Yeah, it's not the top i9, it's not the 10900K, but I don't think that's going to matter. I think the 10600, with enough overclocking, will produce enough heat that I can start to see differences in the coolers. And that's going to be the main thing, is seeing how far I can push this air cooler, and then seeing how that compares with the AIO. So from there, I just went with the M2 drive. Uh, a really good price on the Western Digital Black. So I went with it. This will be my first time trying the Corsair Vengeance. Or trying Corsair RAM at all. I've always went with G-Skill and it's really hard to go with anything besides G-Skill. But as I start to do more of these videos and I start to build more PCs, I need to branch out and try other components. Now, at the end of the day, I would still recommend G-Skill because it's tried and true. It's worked great the whole time. Moving on from there, I got the Z490 ROG Strix. Now, I went with this one because it's got good reviews for overclocking. I'm not going crazy overclocking, at least I don't think so yet. And, of course, it's white to match my white test bench, so it should all look... You know, nice and fancy on my desk. Now, power supply. Uh, the white ones at the moment are overpriced and I didn't want to pay an extra hundred bucks. But I do think the 850 will be more than enough, especially without a graphics card. Now, even when I throw in the graphics card, 850 is still going to do the trick. What it's not going to do is probably allow for overclocking on the graphics card too much. But I'll cross that when I get to it. Now, one of the main things, since I am going to be testing... CPU coolers, which is going to mean I'm going to be switching them out all the time. One thing I wanted to keep consistent is the thermal paste. Now, I've never used Cryonaut. I normally use Arctic Silver, but this one's got great ratings, great reviews. A lot of overclockers use it, so I'm going to give it a go. Now, if I don't like it, that means i got to start these tests over from scratch. So that I have consistent data coming from it. So let's hope this works as great as everyone says it does. 
And then of course, the best air cooler that money probably buys at this point, which is still the Noctua D15. It's massive, it's got two fans, and I think it's going to be pretty good competition for an AIO. However, I will be going 360 AIOs, 360 RADs. Part of that is because of how common they are, but it's also higher end for higher end cooling. And when I do my next personal build, I'm going to be using 360 RADs. So I'm kind of doing this to test that out as well to see if I should go with more fans, less fans, thicker radiator or not. Whatever. That's down the road. Uh, for now, let's get to building this. Now for the moment of truth, will it post? Well, looks like the test bench isn't going to post today. Whether it's bad RAM or RAM compatibility, I'm not sure. So built it's just not going to work right now so before i get to overclocking i've got to figure out the dram issue but either way it about sums up the video outside of figuring out the ram the test bench should be ready all right so that is never the outcome you want but it wouldn't post so went through tried the cmos reset no luck I did every different configuration with the Corsair RAM I could. So I sent that back thinking it was just the RAM. Got the new G-Skill RAM. Ran into the same issue. Tried all the stuff with the G-Skill as well. Still couldn't get it to work. So for right now I'm thinking it's the motherboard. Which is why you got no motherboard on the test pitch. Now I'll continue working on it and get it figured out. I think it wraps it up for this video. Now, next week or the week after, I'll have a video on a box opening for the Noctua cooler. Because that thing's awesome. And I look forward to actually getting a chance to use that. And hopefully, after that's done, I have the test bench working out. And I can get another video up on uh, my first code overclocking. Uh, but for now, that wraps everything up. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And look forward to more content coming your way. Thank you.